Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Let's take a look at how the markets closed on this hump day. No chance of getting over that hump. A lot of red on the board. The Dow dropping 270 points, about 0.8 percent. The S&P drops 45. The Nasdaq down three quarters of a percent, 89 points. And that check of the market sponsored by Tasty Work. Shauna? All right, Dave. Well, rising inflation has sent the cost of living to record highs, and it's having an impact on everyone from millionaires to retirees. So as a result, Social Security, the Social Security beneficiaries will receive a boost to their monthly checks. But will it be enough? That's a big question. Yahoo Finance senior columnist Carrie Hannon joins us now with that. And Carrie, how big of a boost are we expecting? Well, I'm telling you, we're not going to really know until October. But the numbers that are being tossed around is around 8% or even 8.6% is one estimate of what is likely uh, based on inflation. Now, they compute it all uh, running up till October to see how the inflation is running. But here's what happened. I mean, last, last week, the Social Security Administration came out with their trustees report, which they estimated that they would perhaps increase the cost of living for Social Security beneficiaries by... 3.8% um, for next year. But it looks like even walking back, the one of the high administration officials who talked about it afterwards said, you know what, we did those numbers in mid-February, and it actually looks like we may be much closer to 8%. So I'm seeing somewhere in that range. Carrie, what does this do for the program's funding? Because you would think that that would be in question here if we do see such a big hike. You know, that's a really good question. And the people I talked to said, actually, it really depends on how long inflation lasts for, right? So the way they're looking now is it's not long run and they don't see it really having a heavy impact at the moment on the solvency of the fund in the future and so forth and the financial viability of it. But what is important to note is even with an 8 per 6, even if it was that 8 per 6, I keep saying it wrong, sorry, 8.6% increase um, per month. What, what happened is many people say that's not even keeping pace with inflation. They, there would still be a shortfall for retirees and that benefits from, if you went back to 2020, that the cost of what you could buy uh, with your check has dropped by 40%. So it is pretty significant. And really the retirees are getting hit the hardest by this you know, or folks that haven't saved for retirement, that they depend on that check for 90% or so of their, you know, daily living costs for their monthly costs. This is a significant um, amount of money for them. And if you live in rural America and you're depending on a car, the cost of gasoline, as we all know, has just skyrocketed. And that's really taking a hard hit. And again, this year, of course, we had a bump up this year of 5.9% in the benefit uh, to kind of address these inflationary issues. It just wasn't enough. But in that calculation, it was the Medicare jump up in the cost of Medicare B that really prompted some of that increase right there. But just simply the cost of living is really, you know, really a hardship for many, many people. Yeah, it certainly is. Talking about gas prices up to four ninety six a gallon, the national average of so people paying more in almost every uh, aspect of their life at this point. All right, Carrie Hannon, thanks so much for joining us.